What's going on there, everybody? Um, I know I'm a few days late for my pickup video. I just had to work 12 hours on Saturday on the 1st. And I didn't have enough time because I have lots of stuff. So I'm going to get into it right away. Um, first, let's just go with this. I got a whole big old stack of PS3 games. For 150 bucks. I bought a system. Actually, on offer up. This is not a system I usually or think I ever find anything on. Uh, I had almost none of the games. There was only two games that I had. Uh, one was Hawks 2, and I forget the other one. But I went ahead and sold, sold those. Um, and the PS3 didn't quite work. Uh, it worked. The, the HDMI port didn't work. Uh, but it worked with the, the AV cables. So I sold it like that. I Because I don't need another PS3. I just sold it on eBay. Got 30 bucks for it. It didn't get much, hardly any. But these are the games I kept. Like I said, all these games I did not have in my collection. And most of these are complete. Um, Madden 13. The most common Madden I believe there is, is Madden 13. Um, P PES, Pro Evolution Soccer 2011. There's nothing great in here. A uh, copy of Minecraft. That was another, I, there was two copies of Minecraft in this lot, and I sold one of them and kept this one. Copy, copy of Guitar Hero World, World Tour. That's hard to say. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, I know most people have these games, and I did too until I sold, sold my PS3 collection off. Um, so, everything is kind of new again, even though I've amassed quite a bit since I'm back, probably back up to 200. I had like 700, I'm probably back up to 200. Uh, this is a good one, Fight Night Champion. Uh, FIFA Soccer 11. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Afro Samurai. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013. This is one I never had in the collection. Angry Birds Star Wars. Uh, FIFA Street, Skylander Swamp Force. I debated on whether keeping this or not, but uh, I figured I might as well. Sonic Ge Generations, which is I enjoy this game. Homefront, which the story is kind of I kind of enjoy this game. I know it gets a bunch of bad flack because the uh, online multiplayer was absolutely broken when it came out. Um, I played with a friend. I pre-ordered it, got it on launch day. I was only able to play two matches of this before um, to get in the servers with a friend. I was only able to play two matches, and then the server service is gone. Uh, NHL 10, Medal of Honor Limited Edition, Blazing Angels Squadrons. Squadrons of World War II. It's a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. I had it on original Xbox. And I, I had fun with it. Copy of Lair. Which this game is like dirt cheap. I don't think it's very good. I might have to play this. Because I it's probably absolutely awful. Street Fighter 4. There's a lot of games here, people. Midnight Club 3. Complete Edition. I was going to sell this one, but I only have Midnight Club 3, uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles, not the complete edition. Complete edition. Complete edition. So I decided to keep it. Um, Motor Storm Apocalypse. PS 2010. Pro Evolution Soccer. Resident Evil 5. Pretty good game. I enjoyed it. Played it with my brother online. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Virtual Fighter 5. Guitar Hero Live. I don't know why I keep this. E Active 2. There was actually two copies in this one. The other one I just threw it away and I used the case as a donor case. Because uh, that don't sell for anything. Uh, FIFA Soccer 13. Split second, a loose copy of Resistance 3, so I got all three Resistances back, 
Uh, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Medal of Honor Warfighter. Lost via Damas. Double Seven Quantum of Solace. I, this is the only one I don't think I've played. I had it, but I never played it. Um, the other two were Blood Something, which is a pretty good game. And the other one was 007 Legends, where you actually, Daniel Craig reenacts scenes out of uh, the classic Bonds. Um, yeah, that game was, that, that was not good. The controls on that were wonky. Uh, Wanted Weapons of Fate. Uh, Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012. And the last one here is Need for Speed Shift. So those I got all for $150. Nothing spectacular, like I said, but I just added a bunch of games. Okay, actually some retro stuff. Um, uh, last month I got a, uh, one of, a PS1 game, and this month I picked up one. This game I've always wanted to play and always wanted to try, and it's Theme Hospital. So one day I just jumped on eBay and grabbed it. It cost me like $24. Bucks. Um, yeah, always wanted to try it, and yeah, I've had it for about a month. I got this beginning of April, and I still have yet to try it. And this one, um, <coughs> excuse me, I got a Sega Saturn game, a real physical Sega Saturn game. I know. Uh, I got this for on an auction, and I got it for twenty five dollars plus shipping. And this game goes for quite a bit more. The seller messaged me and said, I noticed one of the hinges was broken, so if you want to cancel, I understand. He was probably trying to get me to cancel because I got it for a lot less than it goes for. But I said, no, go ahead and send it. I don't care. And it's Iron Man, Metal War, and Heavy Metal. Um, one of the fighting games. It's okay. I remember I had this before. Um, it's, it's a decent fighting game. Usually goes for about... 40 to 60 in that range, not for 25. <laughs> so, uh, so it was trying to give me an out so he could probably resell it. Um, oh, wow. Two Vita games. Um, this I just picked up is brand new sealed. It was pretty cheap. Uh, Dingy Bunko fighting climax. I haven't heard anything about it. Uh, and I just, this was $17.99. For a Vita game, that's insane. I was just perusing, and I just went ahead and grabbed it. Most of the copies sell for pretty cheap, so I don't think this seller was slipping. This is just probably not a very well-known game. Vita is going to be very difficult to complete. And this one I picked up, this one cost me a little bit, um, about $70. To bucks. Uh, this was uh, probably the last release of, on the Vita and Play Asia released it, and it's a copy of Nicole Limited Edition. Um, this game is going to be super, 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 super hard to find. Um, yeah, Japanese. I believe it's a uh, one of those story. One of the what are they called? Oh gosh, I don't remember what they're called. Visual novel. There we go. Yeah, I picked this up because my son wanted me to because he wanted to play with me and we played once together. Uh, the Hunter, uh, Call of the Wild. Um, it's it's okay. It's okay. My son loves it. He's played a crap ton of it. Um, it's okay. It's you got to be. It's like really hunting and you got to be patient. So my son's home. So if you hear the dogs, I apologize. That's why I'm doing it in my wife's office because I knew he'd be coming home. Uh, these two. These two I picked up, I did an auction, and uh, there was five PS3 games. Um, one was Avengers, um, and there was two others that were, weren't. I didn't keep Avengers, because I could still get 20, 30 bucks. I got this auction for like $6 from a local auction. Um, so I sold the Avengers and the other two games. I don't remember what they were. They weren't anything spectacular, but these two I kept because well, a, I didn't have them, and B, they don't sell for anything at all. Destiny 2, I mean, I think people on eBay pay you to take this game. 
And then this, never heard of it, Rocket Arena Mythic Edition. This game um, is listed for $4.95 all day long on eBay. So this must be terrible, but I decided to keep them because I can't sell them. I'll probably, they'll probably stay sealed. Uh, maybe if I get a PS4, we'll start selling those, you know, if we find we're at the end of the life, we start getting some on, I bundle them up with them and get rid of them. Uh, let's see, so, oh, let's show you some actual stuff from the Goodwill, and act not the Goodwill, Salvation Army. Uh, our Goodwills up here are hot garbage. Uh, everything is retail price, their shoes, uh, yeah Salvation Army I had the best day I ever had at Salvation Army um, when I got this I got a whole stack of records of all Beatles and Rolling Stones and uh, all like in mint condition for three dollars a piece for the records I uh, got quite a few games I uh, um, there's a call quite a few of them I flipped I got a Tomb Raider on the Wii uh, I also got a game called Caroline over the cartoon Caroline. Um, it didn't have the manual, but I still sold it for sixty freaking dollars. Sixty dollars for a Wii game. Um, and there was a uh, two other ones that I, I've listed that I already had. Um, but these I decided to keep. These were all a dollar ninety nine, and it's a uh, Robert Ludlum's The Born Conspiracy. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. How to Train a Dragon 2. And Air Conflicts Vietnam. Oh, and I found a whole bunch of Godzilla movies there uh, for 99 cents a piece. And I've done flipped all those. And I found a Gamera. Gamera collection of all the Gamera movies. Um, that was 50 cents and I sold it for $40. So, yeah, apparently that's out. Of course, it's out of print, and you probably can't stream it anywhere, and that's why I went for so much. So, that was a great, a great um, day at Salvation Army. Also found, uh, this was also an eBay purchase, uh, NCAA 13, because I wanted to play some a football, and NCAA 14 is insane. Um 13, I never even played to get any trophies, so I don't have any trophies. I paid $19 for it. Uh, it's, it's amazing that this game uh, a few years ago was 99 cents. So now it's 19. And it's, if they come out with the remake the NCAA games, which they're talking about, it's probably going to go back down to 99 cents. But depending on how good it is, I mean, EA could screw that up for sure. Okay, last few things here. Uh, pick this one up due to a recommendation of a Facebook group I'm in. Um, I almost returned it because the seller did not disclose this is the Peggy 16 version, the PAL version. But for $13, I just decided to go ahead and keep it. And it's Battle Chasers Night War. I heard this game was amazing. I uh, heard a lot of people raving about it. So I looked it up and... It's so cheap, I just went ahead and maybe I'll pop it in one day. Uh, the last... Oh, I paid up for this. Decided to get this before it got up any more stupider in price. I already have the first one, uh, but it's Atelier Ryza 2. Got this brand new. It cost me 60 bucks. Uh, when the game came out, it was a $40 game, I believe. Um, Atelier 1 is going up... It's already, I think, at $100 now. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up before it got too, too more crazy. Um, a limited run game here I picked up because it came up in my selection. And I paid up for this. It was like $70. But, um, and I kind of decided I'm kind of going to go try to go for a limited run collection. I know. I change, I just, I'm going to go for a limited run collection. So you're just going to have to accept it and like it. But this is Damascus Gear Operation Osaka HD Edition. Like I said, this was like $70. Um, that was the cheapest copy. So, and I didn't even get the card with it. That's that's what's sad. And the last thing is I got a package from my good friend TG Apuleius. Um, he just sent this stuff to me because he does that. And I always feel guilty uh, that he does. 
I, I'm very appreciative. And I try to send stuff back back to him, but he has sent me way more stuff than I have him. And I just, I can't be more appreciative. He's such a good guy. But he sent me a copy of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, which I didn't have. This is the only one I didn't, the only one I didn't have except for the newest one that I ever had, Valhalla, which you're having a heck of a time with. And the other thing he sent me, he sent me a blind box, limited run blind box. Um, so, I don't know what's in here. Uh, so, we're going to find out together. I should have brought something back here to open it with. So, oh, that wasn't too bad. All right, you guys ready to see? Ready to see what it is? I'm not going to look. I'm going to look with you. What is it? Oh, Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Cool. I wanted a, I wanted this one. I just didn't I didn't pull the trigger on it. Nice. <laughs> awesome. TG Avalanche, I really appreciate that, bud. Yeah. I was I was worried I only have like seven or eight limited run games. I was like, it's gonna be my luck, it's gonna be one I already have. But it's not. It's not, and it's not a hot garbage one either. So that was my pickups for the month of April. I will try to do better about posting it uh, on the day of. Just it happened this time. But anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next month.